When a character is in the air during the jump or fall, his center of mass always moves strictly along a ballistic curve, regardless of what movements the character makes in the flight. Cascader has a special tool for creating this kind of ballistic curves. Using the ballistic trajectory for the center of mass is already enough to make jumps and falls more realistic. Find the last K before the jump, where the character's legs have not yet taken off the ground. Find the K after the jump, where the character's legs first touch the ground again. Select the interval that starts and ends with these frames. The rest of the interval the character spends in the mid-air and doesn't have any pivot points. Click the ballistic trajectory button. If there are several centers of mass in the stem, then you will first need to select one of them. The height of the resultant ballistic curve depends on the number of frames in between. The higher the character jumps, the more time he needs to jump. Select the green dot on top of the ballistic curve. Change the height of the curve by moving the point with the manipulators. If you select the ballistic curve in the viewport, you will also see it displayed on the timeline as a black line. The higher the trajectory, the longer is the line. But the ballistics should always end in the frame of the first contact with the ground. Select the frames of the interval and press Ctrl-T to retime the entire interval. If you do not want to change either the jump's height or the number of frames it takes, you will have to change the gravity. The higher the value of gravity, the faster you can reach the same height. Open the Ballistic Trajectory menu and click the Snap Center of Mass to Select Trajectory button. The character will move in space, so that its center of mass in each frame will coincide with the points of the ballistic trajectory. 